Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. So I'm here with a dream. In this dream, I am doing an old friend. Like, she she not my friend of war, which interest, like, I was thinking about this. When I woke up from this dream, I was like, why in the world do she keep on popping up in my dreams? We don't talk. We don't text. I haven't seen her in years. <clears throat> we not friends no more. We not even associates. We, we, we not comrades. We not nothing. But anyways, <clears throat> in this dream, I was doing her hair. The first time I do it, I am doing it the way that I think is best to do it. However, it doesn't work and she does not like it. So I redo it to her preference. And when I do it to her preference, it looks good. It's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. The scripture comes from First Enoch 67 and 1. And I saw that valley in which there was a great convulsion and a convulsion of the waters. And when all this took place, a smell of sulfur was produced from that fiery molten metal and from the convulsion thereof in that place. And it was connected with those waters. And that valley of the messengers who had led mankind astray burned beneath that land. Ooh. So here's the message. <clears throat> so for somebody... God is saying that um, this may be a situation where it's a try again, okay? Cause, and it's interesting because I just, like, was talking about how I'm not friends with this party. We don't talk. We're not around each other. But it's kind of like in this, like, in a spiritual, I've always, like, it, I have so many dreams with her in it. And I just feel like God is saying, um... For somebody, even when it goes to the dream that I'm doing her hair, and the first time I did it, it was the way I wanted to do it, and it didn't turn out right. But the second time I did it, that was more liking to her, and it did. For somebody, you were sent to someone to help them. And when you went to help them, you wanted to help them the way you wanted to help them instead of the way that they truly needed to be helped. And, you know, sometimes... um. Sometimes we think that if we try to fit in with somebody and you know what I'm saying, everything will work out and it could be a situation, you know, sometimes God will send us to somebody to save them. And when we get there, they having so much fun and they doing all these worldly things. And instead of us pulling them into being more like us, we become more like them and then God will pull you out dust you off and send you on your way because God doesn't want you to get sucked into the kingdom of darkness. God wants you to pull them out of the kingdom of darkness. So this is the message for whoever this is for. God is saying, okay, he wants you to pull this person out of the kingdom of darkness. God, like, and you know, it may be a situation where God is going to bring this person back into your life. It may be a situation where um, you and this person, y'all are going to cross paths. But this is the thing. God says he does not want you to become like them. He wants them to become like you. I'm going to say it again. He don't like, and you know, it's going to have to, obviously it's going to have to be the way that they, it's going to have to be a way that relates to them. And I'm trying to say, you know, because it's one thing, you know, when someone, um, to hang out with somebody, you don't have to do things that you don't want to, you know, you don't have to partake in ungodly things. It's nothing wrong with meeting out, you know, uh, meeting up with someone to do something that, you know, that has a more godly perspective or, you know, something that God is, you know, like going out to eat or going to a, a nice little restaurant or going shopping or like, I just feel like, um, 
you don't have to go to a club in order to go out and hang out with somebody, spend time with somebody. You don't have to have a drink in your hand in order to be hanging out with somebody. It's not a situation where y'all just got to be doing something that is uh, 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 sinful in order for y'all to be having fun. However, at the same time, you have to understand that... Um, Doing things like, I just feel like doing things the way that, how do I, because it's kind of like, it, it's a, it's a, it's a line. Like this is a thin line because at the same time, you have to understand that you completely trying to take over is not going to make this person like this person is, is going to rub them the wrong way. It may make them feel some kind of way if you're trying to completely take over. But, um. At the same time, God is saying, like, while you, like, God does not want you to become like them. So, even if it is a situation where you are going where they would like to go, okay, and I'm going off of the dream and, you know, like, doing this person's hair the way they want it to be done, you're going where they want to go. It doesn't mean that you have to forsake in the same stuff that they are. Um, even if it's a situation, just because you're in that environment, it doesn't mean that you need to act. The, a certain way because you have to also remember that there are certain things that are sins you have to remember what the sins are you have to remember what god said that you are not to do what you can and cannot do god like it's one thing to put forth efforts to save somebody and it's another thing to while you're trying to save them you end up getting caught up in a mess, okay? And, you know, you end up getting yourself in trouble. And now, instead of you helping them to turn away from their sins, you are being put in a position to where you need to repent. God said, don't do that, okay? It's okay for you to go and, you know, hang out with somebody. It's okay for you to... Like, there, there are certain things that we have to understand it's okay to do. But at the same time, don't do it to such an extent that now you need to... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't put yourself in that position. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need in getting uh, all the way drunk. Ain't no need in acting a complete fool. And, you know what I'm saying, jumping on the tables. And, and you know, like, it's, 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 it's... I just feel like God is saying... He, it, it's okay for you to meet somebody where they at, but even while you are meeting them where they at, don't go too far. Even while you are meeting them where they at, that doesn't mean that you need to pick up all the stuff that they got there while they're there. You know what I'm saying? Why? Like, you don't have to, don't mimic them. Don't take on to everything that they have going on. It's Okay. And that's the message, okay? God is saying he does not want you to be leading anybody astray. And um, leading somebody astray, you're supposed to lead by example. And if the example that you are showing is that it's okay for you to just be acting a fool, that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? God don't want you to do that. Leading by example is, you know, go out, you have fun. You know what I'm saying? Have a good time. But remember that you are a child of God. Remember that you are God's daughter. Remember that you are God's son. Remember that, you know, you need to uphold yourself to certain standards. And you know what I'm saying? It's not to say that you got to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Nobody walking this earth is perfect. Nobody walking. The only person that walked this earth that was perfect was Jesus Christ himself. And that's it. So it's not a situation where God is saying that you you just got to, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, God is saying you need to um understand that 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 doesn't mean that you need to just act a complete fool, okay? Um, and you know, like the saying, I can't even say. I don't, I don't think I can say the saying that we say in Texas, Houston, Texas. But you know, show your whole. You know what I'm saying? Show show your whole donk and show your whole peach. Like no, don't do all that, okay? God is saying it's okay to go out. It's okay to have a good time. It's okay to spend time with someone. It's okay even while you're there to talk about God every now. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to do that. But at the same time, don't find yourself in a position to where you end up getting caught up into what they have going on. And you know what I'm saying? It's not like God is saying he wants this person to become more like you than for you to become more like them. 
even if it's a situation where they decide that they are going to reject it and they don't want to be more like they don't want to be more like you they don't want to walk exactly the way god wants them to walk they don't want to do exactly what god wants them to do that's their business but god does not want you to come out of that situation where you didn't pick up their traits and now you are not even where you was you know what i'm saying don't do that it, it should be a situation either Y'all both come out, you come out, you the same or better, and this person is a tad bit better, or you come out and you the same or better, and this person, they carry on, and it is what it is. It shouldn't come a situation to where this person, they refuse, and they still going that way, and you decide, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and go that way too. God said, um, <clears throat> and that's the message. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.